Last year, I met a little boy who changed my life. I was finishing my medical training at Johns Hopkins, working with a pediatrician, when I met this little boy traveling all the way from Albany to seek help. Halfway through the exam, he started to wince in pain. It got worse and worse until he was screaming that the whole building could hear him. The mother tried to calm him but couldn't and started crying too, apologizing. I'm so sorry he's doing this. Our hearts broke. You don't have to apologize. We don't even imagine what you're going through. We will try to help you as much as we can. Unfortunately, at the end of the two and a half hour visit, we had to send him home, unable to find new treatments, new therapies, new diagnoses for him, because this little boy had a very rare disease that is not very well studied. Spurred on this and thinking of ways we need to do this, we started an organization called Rare Genomics Institute, designed specifically to help these children with rare diseases. One of our first patients' name was Robert. Robert was born perfectly healthy and grew like any other boy. However, when he was around one years old, over the period of three days, he stopped feeding, he stopped moving, he was rushed to the hospital. They started doing tests and on tests, seeing doctors and dumb doctors, and nobody could figure out what he had or what he was. They took him to different medical centers and saw a total of over 20 different specialists. Millions of dollars has been spent trying to figure out what Robert has. But unfortunately, because this disease is so rare, there is no way to figure it out using clinical, traditional clinical therapy. Today, 14 years later, Robert still does not have a diagnosis. He's bound in his wheelchair. He's unable to eat by himself. He's unable to move or walk. He's unable, unable to hug his dad or tell his mommy that he loves her. The current medical system is not designed to help patients with rare diseases. And Robert is not the only one. In fact, in the US alone, there's millions and millions of these patients with rare diseases that wander from hospital to hospital looking for a possible cure. In total, there are over 7,000 rare diseases, and the traditional government top-down model is not designed to fund these diseases at the long tail. So therefore, only 3% of these diseases have any type of therapy at all, and these patients travel from hospital to hospital, literally as orphans. The amazing thing is, this does not have to be so. With the rise of the internet, with the rise of biotechnology, we now have a solution that potentially could help patients like Robert. We bring together three simple things to enable this. The first thing we do is facilitate the latest technology, because the current technology right now does not, is not able to help, we bring in the latest experimental technology. For Robert, we're using complete DNA exome sequencing to sequence his genome to figure out what's wrong. Next, we've established a network of top research institutions of researchers who are willing to give time to help patients like this. Robert specifically have, pay, have doctors at Johns Hopkins and Baylor College of Medicine who are now looking at his genome sequence to figure out what he has. Lastly, how do we fund all this research? Traditional government funding can't fund it. It's very difficult, so many diseases. What we've created is an online platform similar to Kickstarter, where friends and families can give, and we can raise funds from the bottom up in a grassroots, ma 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 in a grassroots manner. Here's Robert's page. He was able to raise $7,700. The amazing thing is, it came from 169 of his friends and families, aunts and uncles and neighbors who gave on average less than $50 funding this critical research. We have now an entire team for Robert using the latest technology at top institutions fueled by his very family and friends. We're very excited about this. And we're not only here to help Robert, we're also here to help Luke. We're here to help Kathleen. We're here to help David. We're here to help Salah. And our dream is to be able to help all the millions and millions of kids with rare diseases. Ultimately, we want to disrupt this entire method of, re of, of research um, and create a whole new way of grassroots funding for rare diseases to create a whole new groundswell of discovery and funding that would rival the current resources that's done for rare diseases. Because all diseases should be studied, no matter how few patients it affects, no matter how rare. Thank you.